Hey everybody, welcome back. This is some Am I the A-Hole wedding drama that lives in my head, rent free. All rise for the Honorable John. Sorry, I have a spat everywhere. Charlotte! Silence! You may be seated. Am I the A-Hole for refusing to make my half-sister look better on her wedding day by showing up? My half sister and I share a mom. She's nine years older than me, 17 female. Her dad died when she was five. Mom remarried to my dad when she was eight and got pregnant with me straight away. Until I was 10, I thought she was the best person ever and I wanted us to have a relationship like my friends had with their siblings. But she has rejected me as not being her real sister from day one. I mean... You kind of are, though. Like, not full, but you are. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what her opinion is, but... She also rejects my dad as anything other than my mother's... Okay, so, like, they're married, though? Remarried, right. Okay, so she's married. Mm, okay. All right, then. She called him that to his face and in front of other people. The disrespect, <laughs> bro. My dad always lets it slide and mom will tell her we are all a family, to which my half-sister will say she's family, but my dad and I are not. I'm uh, sensing some anger due to her father dying. I'm sensing some angsty teenager feelings. When I was six, my brother was still born when mom was about six months pregnant with him. She had grandma come over to watch my half sister and me while she was in the hospital and we were told something happened to our brother. I was really upset because I'd been so excited and wanted comfort for my half sister. She told me to grow the F up and stay away from her. She sounds like she'd be a lot of fun at parties. You were six years old. She would have been six plus nine is what? 15? <laughs> 15 years old. I mean, at this point, it's like age doesn't necessarily matter. If you're gonna be a <laughs> about it, like you're just gonna be a dick. <laughs> she also told me it was a shame the same thing didn't happen when my mom was expecting me. Wow, okay, wow. So she's just an awful human. Maybe not fully developed at this point, but still quite a crotch goblin, I must say. Grandma was horrified and told her she would regret saying that, but my half-sister told her she wouldn't regret saying that about someone she didn't love. I mean, you should never say that to anyone regardless of the fact that you love them or not. It kind of goes without saying, I think. I just don't really understand the teenage angst. Cause like if you're if you're her parents got divorced and or like, you know, her mom cheated or something, and, and she's now with your dad, I would understand stand like kind of like the anger there not what she says but like the anger but your mom lost her husband what does she expect her mom to do just like stay single for the rest of her life the breaking point was that Christmas when I was 10. She decided to stay with a different family member for Christmas, but did show up to our grandparents for Christmas Day celebrations. I was excited to see her and thought the fact that she showed up meant she might like me now. But after I had tried talking to her, she turned on me and said she didn't give a frick about me or my life and did not want me to know anything about hers. She needs a good old kick in the pants is what she needs. She called me pathetic and asked why she would care about someone like me. Is she like secretly jealous of you or something? Is that what I'm gathering from this? I don't get it. She told me if she could turn back time, she would have begged for mom to have an a with me because I was disgusting. I don't understand why you're trying to have a relationship with her in the first place. Like she sounds awful. It was that point where I think I hit the point where I was like, you know what? Fine, good. I think, <laughs> I don't think she wants to have a relationship with you. So stop trying. Over the last seven years, I've seen her maybe three times. She avoids being where I will be, and she's made it clear to mom that if mom wants to see her, dad and I are not welcome, and that we are not invited into her life. What is her problem? Holy cannoli. Except now she's getting married, she invited me and wanted me there because questions were asked. Right, because that would call into question what kind of person she is. <laughs> Which is how you say, how the French say, Embarrassing. Mom was so happy when my half-sister told her she really wanted me there. Mom was so eager to tell me. My half-sister even showed up to invite me personally. But I told her I would not go. Uh, yeah, she can't just be a sister to you when it suits her. She explained she needed me and why, and I told her I will not make her look better by showing up. Period. I said she wants me dead. I don't want her in my life. It's as simple as that. As you should, babe. Like, 
There was no apology for how she treated you growing up. Why should you do her this favor when she was so terrible to you? Mom cried that we're siblings and I told her I lost my only sibling when my brother was stillborn. That he would have been my only sibling because my half sister sure <laughs> wasn't a sibling for me. She made it clear many times over that she did not want to be. My half sister and mom both feel I'm really in the wrong. Am I the a-hole? I mean, Ugh, it's snowing again. I feel like I haven't seen the sun in weeks. Let's watch that new show everyone's talking about. I've already seen it. You watch so much TV. I couldn't sleep last night. I counted 2,389 sheep. Okay, what about this? I feel like I'm going nuts being cooped up inside. Does anyone want to go for a walk? I'm tired. You're always tired. You're always stressed out. Will you stress me out? Who's that? Care of is a personalized vitamin subscription service that makes sure you have everything you need to supplement a healthy lifestyle. You start by taking the quiz on their website and answer a few questions so the care of can identify your needs. It then recommends the right products. For me, they recommended magnesium, iron, and vitamin D. Magnesium has been an absolute game changer for me. It helps with sleep and stress. Then they send you these compostable packets with all your daily vitamins inside. You guys are both stressing me out. Why are you talking like that? I don't want to hear it. Use my code CHARLOTTE50. Click the link in the description to get 50% off your first order. I think your mom probably doesn't know the full extent to how you were treated. Or if she does, that's concerning. I can understand that she's happy that, you know, you guys are finally gonna have a relationship, but that doesn't excuse all the horrible things she said and did before she needed you to show up to make her look like less of an evil person. <laughs> Not to mention, if you go to her wedding, you gotta get her a gift. <laughs> I didn't buy it for anyone that tells me they wish I wasn't born. No <laughs> way! Hell no! Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that your mom didn't get involved. Like, I don't, I don't understand why she wasn't more, like all I'm reading here is that your grandma got involved and told her to stop saying stuff like that. Where was your mom through all of this treatment? Mom will tell her we're a family. Okay, yeah, but she never actually told her to stop saying stuff like that. At least based on what you shared. Anyways, I know how I feel. I wanna know how you feel, but let's hear what Reddit had to say. Not the a-hole. Your half-sister has been treating you below trash since you existed. You tried to fix the relationship with your sister and nothing changed. Your mom should de-escalate issues and not allow your half-sister to treat you like she treated, period. Like, where was your mom through all of this treatment? Your father, that is awful, calling the stepfather a f buddy. What is that? Like, literally, your, your half-sister's a delinquent. Delinquent? Your half-sister is a delinquent. Okay. And she needs to be put in her place. People like your half-sister should be cut out of your life. She did not treat you like family and you don't owe her anything. She wants you at the wedding to avoid questions. And so what? You don't owe her anything. Never act because people might feel you are guilty. I agree with that. Wholeheartedly. She sounds like a bully, honestly. Like, <laughs> I understand that we can all be angsty teenagers. Wear the dark eyeliner, straighten our hair a little to the point that it's fried and stuff. But like, I just still think that like, if you haven't apologized for that behavior later in life, you don't feel like it was wrong. I think that this all could have been solved with an apology or an attempt to like actually get to know you and not just when it suits her. So let me get this straight. When she was 18 or 19, she told you a 10 year old that she wanted you dead. If I were you, I would preemptively, is that what the math is? Did I do that correctly? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> if I were you, I'd preemptively tell all of your family members, aunts, uncles, cousins, etc., exactly why you aren't going. She's a monster and she will spin this against you if you only don't show up without saying a word. I agree. OP confirms when she was 19, she told a 10 year old me that. Wow, okay, yeah, you're not going to that wedding, babes. You're not. And you're not having a relationship with this person until she wants to have a relationship with you and not just when it's convenient for her. I'm glad she realizes how uh -huh. it makes her look though. <laughs> you are not the a-hole, my dear. Am I the a-hole for wearing my wedding dress to someone else's wedding? Please read the whole story before jumping to conclusions. Oh, but I love to jump to conclusions. I love it. I, 20 female, married my husband two years ago. We aren't rich and don't care that much about weddings, so I wore my prom dress to my wedding. It's not a super fancy dress or anything. It's basically a long sequin dress in deep dark blue with one sleeve. For reference, the dress. Oh, thank you for providing, oh. 
Okay. Thank you pro for providing visual material. Exhibit A, the dress. My friend Sierra, 22 female, was attending my wedding. Since the wedding, I wore it on a few occasions because it's basically the only fancy dress I own. Ooh, okay, I love this for you. Like getting a dress that you can like still wear. Okay, I love this for you because usually when you get a wedding dress, that's literally the only time that you're gonna wear it, right? And you spend all this money on a dress and like, for what? But like, it makes sense to also wear it to other occasions if it's appropriate. I love this. Love a repurposing queen. Recently, Sierra was getting married and I was obviously invited. The wedding color scheme was dark blue and she requested fancy attire. So I thought my dark blue dress would be fine. It's not white and it's not even remotely close to a wedding dress. Oh, she didn't like that, eh? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I also didn't feel like wasting money on another fancy dress that I wouldn't ever wear again, especially since we aren't rich. Okay, fair, 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 fair enough. Not everyone can afford to keep buying new dresses for every little social occasion. I get that, totally fair. And I'm sorry, but like, if you're buying a new dress for every single social occasion, don't. <laughs> it's way more bougie to have a couple really nice things and to wear them more than once than it is to buy fast fashion and wear something different that's only gonna last like one or two wears. So I showed up to her wedding in my dark blue sequin dress. It wasn't standing out or anything. Most of the guests were wearing even fancier dresses. However, when Sierra saw me, she lost it. Okay, 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 okay. See, I get the whole not wearing white to weddings because it's like this weird thing where if you do wear white to a wedding, then people think that you're the bride. But was she wearing the same color dress? I feel like the only way you can really upstage a bride is if like you wear like an outright like white wedding dress. I think this is irrational anger to be honest. She yelled at me in front of all the guests, in front of her husband and my husband saying what I did was horrible and no one shows up at a wedding in a wedding dress. Okay, but like, it's not, like I understand you wore it as your wedding dress, but it's not necessarily something that would confuse the other guests, you know? You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like you get a pass. I don't know, right? I tried to reason with her saying the dress isn't a wedding dress. It's the one fancy piece of clothing I own. I wore it to multiple occasions before and after my wedding. And that's the stickler, right? Like if you had not worn it any other time other than to your friend's wedding, I feel like it would have been weird, but you've worn it to other things too. She didn't listen and kept yelling at me to the point where her bridesmaids and her husband started trying to calm her down. She also said a bunch of unsavory names to me. Oh, goodness, okay. Apparently you live rent free in her head on her wedding. Aren't there, are you like, shouldn't you be happy, babe? Like, come on. I was very upset with the drama and decided to leave with my husband. Then I started getting texts from Sierra who blamed me for upstaging her on her wedding day. Did anybody else feel like you upstaged? Like, are you just prettier than her? Is that <laughs> Did anyone else feel that you were the bride? No? Okay, then I'm sorry, but like, if she feels you upstaged her, then that is her fault. That's like an insecurity thing. She blamed me for upstaging her on her wedding day, for driving a wedge between her and her husband, since he said that she overreacted massively and upset her friend over a dress. Well, he's right though. <laughs> you didn't drive that wedge between her and her husband. She drove that wedge all the way in. I decided to ignore them because I think she's being unreasonable. But a part of me thinks I was the a-hole because I wore the dress to my own wedding. I mean, okay. I get the like wanting to wear the dress more than once. I get that you're not rich and you know, maybe it's not a decent investment for you. It might be a good idea to get another dress at some point. You know, like it's, it doesn't look like a wedding dress, but you know, maybe maybe for other people's weddings, like we could wear a different dress or, or rent a dress. You know what I mean? Like you can rent dresses now, highly economical, borrow a dress, thrift one. But I don't think that you were an a-hole cause it just like, it didn't look like a wedding dress. Like it just didn't. It was what you wore to your wedding, which is like not a traditional wedding dress at all. I don't know. I don't think you're an a-hole, but maybe it might be time to like get another dress. You know what I mean? I know how I feel, but let's see what Reddit had to say. Not the a-hole. Anyone reading the headline would have their finger straight on the why. In this circumstance, however, it would be absolutely okay to wear that dress and she ruined her own wedding as well as shouting at you for no reason. Even if her husband thinks she's an a-hole from the sound of things. I suspect she's not only lost you as a friend, but her husband is likely to lawyer up soon. She sounds like she'd be a nightmare to live with. Exactly, if I were her husband, I would be so embarrassed to see her act like this. Like, it is kind of silly to act like this at your wedding because like, you're not only ruining your own wedding, you're ruining your husband's, new husband's wedding. And for what? 
I just find that kind of silly. It's not worth a massive freak out like this. Like if if you had an issue with it, you could have maybe talked to her and been like, you know, might be time to pick up another dress, like calmly and collectively. I don't know. I completely agree. Had the bride not been at your wedding, she would never have known it was a wedding dress. That's a good point. That is a good point, but she was at the wedding. She was. I hope things can be mended with your friend. I think since it's not explicitly a wedding dress, I don't see what the problem is. The dress in the picture was a basic formal dress. No one would look at her and think she was wearing a wedding dress. And this is the thing, right? Like when you wear white to a wedding and you upstage the bride in that way, it's because people think that you're the bride and they come up to you and they congratulate you. And like, you know, well, I mean, you actually kind of look like an idiot because most people would know who the bride was, I would hope, but like, it, there's this weird thing where it's like, you're trying to look like a bride on your wedding day, but the dress that you wore on your wedding day, Dre, on your wedding day, is not a wedding dress. I think Sierra has a different problem with OP and deliberately manufactured a situation. This is why I said like, is she jealous of you? Like, did you look better than her? Like, I don't, I don't see what the issue is. She specifically picked dark blue and fancy. She knew OP wore that dress multiple times. That is a very good point. She literally picked the color of your only fancy dress. And it's surprised that you wore it? I would think there was a close to zero chance she thought OP would go out and get a different dress. I think Sierra is a drama llama. Oh, okay, it's a setup. The fact that the groom stuck up for her makes me think the bride is jealous. This has come up before between them and she wanted to embarrass her at her wedding. Ooh, noted, noted. Okay, 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 okay. Not the a-hole, my dear. Reddit has spoken. Am I the a-hole for picking a revealing bridesmaid's dress in order to get one of my bridesmaids to drop? So this has been a long thing coming. My soon-to-be husband has a sister. Let's call her Mia. Now, Mia and I do not click very well. I am polite, but I wouldn't say we are friends. I felt I was forced by his family to make her a bridesmaid or she will be sad. I'm gonna be blunt. Mia is, oh, fat and very insecure about it. Oh, okay, okay. This has led bridesmaid stress shopping to be a nightmare. Okay. Never could find something that she wanted and all the other bridesmaids and me liking it. Oh, okay. So I gave everyone two options to vote on. Option one was getting a dress that can be styled multiple ways or picking from a collection so everyone matches, but they will need to pay for it. Option two was I buy everyone's dresses, but I chose the dress and my decision is final. Okay, 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 mm, okay. I thought uh, we were kind of going into like fat shamey territory a little bit, which I don't necessarily like, but I'll hear you out. My five bridesmaids voted and option two won. So I picked out a blue strapless dress with a mini slit. I really like it and I knew Mia would have an issue with it. Okay. Ooh. I sent a picture to all the bridesmaids and confirming the right size before I ordered it. This is where it blew up. Mia was pissed I picked a revealing dress. Ooh, this is, uh, this is a, a weird one. <laughs> this resulted in an argument where she thinks I'm a huge jerk and I told her she can step down if she has issues with the dress. I mean, it is kind of a dickish move, but you also didn't really want her in your wedding anyway. I don't know. She tried to get the family on her side, but everyone knows I gave them options and had watched me struggle to find something everyone wants. Edit, she voted for the option where I pay for the dress. Okay, that also changes things, yes. If she, I mean, if it was a, to a vote, then eh, anyways. She picked the option where you would get to pick the dress and then she's pissed off that it's not a dress that she likes. I truly didn't ask her since her and mother-in-law announced she was one of my bridesmaids at a family gathering. The only way to keep the peace with the whole family was basically giving her what she wanted. I've also gone to four different shops to find a dress for everyone. I feel like this is less about the weight thing and it's more about her being picky and kind of making this whole thing about accommodating her. If I went to like bridesmaid shop with a bunch of my friends and there was like kind of like a bit of an outsider there that was like essentially telling me that she didn't like my choices, kind of making it really difficult for everybody because everybody else liked something and she didn't and we had to keep looking and waste everybody's time. Yeah, like. I feel like you also, oh God, this is tough. This is a tough one, okay? Like. I'm just walking on eggshells trying not to get canceled here. I, I do feel like it was a bit of a dickish move. But I also feel like she's also a dick in this situation. I do feel like she's an a-hole too. In my eyes, you're like, you're a little, little butthole. <laughs> A small one. I'm willing to be swayed by other people's opinions because it is a tough one. I'm also totally fine with being wrong. 
I know. Let's see what everybody else had to say. Going against the current grain, I say not the a-hole. The a-hole here is the mother-in-law and Mia. Mother-in-law for announcing Mia as a bridesmaid, Mia for being difficult. I'm fat and if I don't fit the same dress as everyone else, I'd have voted for buying my own from a collection. Mia could still ask for this if you're willing to compromise again. Your fiance has your back. Sometimes the bridesmaids wear a dress they wouldn't have picked out because they respect the bride's choice. I mean, isn't that always the case though? Like don't bridesmaids like almost always wear whatever the hell the bride wants you to wear, even if it's not something that looks the best on you. OP gave two options. Either they choose their own same but different dress or OP chooses for them. And it was Mia who was making it difficult for everyone else to find a dress without OP paying for it. And Mia voted for the you pick and your word is final, AKA the one where Mia doesn't have to spend money. If she didn't want that, then she should have voted the other way. Here's an idea. Mia could alter the dress to make it less revealing. There you go. One of my bridesmaids was significantly larger than the rest and the bridesmaids dress I chose was strapless with optional spaghetti straps. She asked if she could wear a bolero jacket over her dress so she could wear a more substantial bra. And I was 100% fine with that. There you go. I feel like maybe she's just being a little bit difficult, but I also feel like I would have been more on your side if you didn't mention, you know, the I don't know, like I feel like there's just a little bit of undertones about you being upset that she's a little overweight. That's just how I feel. It's just the fact that you mentioned it and the way that you mentioned it. But I feel like everybody's kind of being <laughs> in this case, just saying. But Reddit has dubbed the not the a-hole. Subscribe!